Hi there, and welcome to a new series on the vascular system of the human body. We'll be starting with the arterial system and beginning with the largest artery of the body, the aorta. We begin at the heart, in particular at the left ventricle. The left ventricle is responsible for pumping oxygenated blood to the systemic circulation, arterial blood. It pumps this blood directly into the aorta. The aorta is typically defined by four separate sections. That is the ascending aorta, the aortic arch, the descending or thoracic aorta, and then as that passes through the diaphragm at the bottom of the lungs, it becomes known as the abdominal aorta. The ascending aorta takes oxygenated blood from the left ventricle through to just about the entirety of the rest of the body. It only has two small branches, which come off it immediately after it's left the left ventricle. We have the left coronary artery departing to the left there, and the right coronary artery, which departs anteriorly. Before we move on, we'll speak briefly about the relations of the ascending aorta. So anteriorly, we have the left lung, which courses around to the lateral aspect of the ascending aorta as well. On the right-hand side, the anatomical right of the ascending aorta, we have the superior vena cava. And then posteriorly, we have one of the bifurcations of the pulmonary trunk, which originates lateral to the ascending aorta on the left-hand side. Next, let's discuss the aortic arch. It continues the course of the ascending aorta and passes over the top of, the, of this bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk. It too is immediately medial to the left lung in particular. It's inferior or lower lobe here. And it is actually connected to the pulmonary trunk by this ligamentum arteriosum, which is a vestigial remnant of the ductus arteriosus, which is part of the fetal circulation. And the arch of the aorta, or the aortic arch, has three major branches which together supply the majority of the upper body, that is the head, the neck, the upper limb, and the torso. We have first the brachiocephalic trunk, just here. Shortly after that, we have the left common carotid, and then immediately after that, we have the left subclavian. These all depart at around the level of the third thoracic vertebra. And we'll talk about those branches in more detail in future videos. For now, keep watching and we'll see you in the next video.